Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor. Today, we're going to give you the top five ways to increase your sales. If you're having trouble, these are five things that you can do that should increase your sales if you follow through with them. Number five is just maximizing the sales you already have. By that, I mean, make sure you are correctly pricing your items. Many times your item will sell for much less than it could have sold. You'll look up at comps, see a bunch sold at 10 or $15, and that's what you price it at. The majority of times when people are looking for your items, they are not going back and checking what they sold for in the past. So if you price them at what they were by other people, that's all they're going to sell for. We routinely sell items for more than most others do because we do that philosophy. We don't just go with the flow. There's many other factors besides just looking up a price on what something should sell at. That again, you have to take into account that the majority of people are not going to research the price, especially on the type of items that I sell. Vintage and collectibles, people don't really look up the price before they actually buy it. So that's a real good thing that you can do. Coming in at number four is not to shoot for one-offs. Buying single items, buying one-of-a-kinds or something that you can't replenish. You have less of a chance to sell multiple item purchases to the same buyer. Every single day we sell multiple items to the same person over and over and over again. That greatly increases our sales, the ability to sell it. One way to do this is to center in on a few niches that you can get multiple items in and keep that many items running in those categories at the same time. That will instill the idea that you do sell these routinely and hopefully they will buy multiple items at the same time. This has greatly worked for us. We have sold a ton of items to the same person over and over and over again. I promise you, if you can get some of these niches or multiples in the same category, you will sell more items. It's just a fact. It's proven. It works. It will help your sales. And the third one, in my opinion, is promoted listings. Paying 1% or 2% to eBay to promote them. Basically, that will increase your visibility because it will create a promoted listing and then your original listing as well, and they'll show up in different spots, so you will be more visible than you were before. You don't have to do a whole bunch of money or percentage into it to get a return out of it. You can play around with it. One or two percent is fine to get that second listing. Obviously, the more amount of money you want to spend on it, the more visibility you could get from it. Good, bad, or indifferent, it does actually work to increase your sales. Now, the second best thing that I would recommend doing are markdowns and sales as well as your own promotions. This is where you go in and set this stuff up yourself. You can do ones that would push multiple purchases, such as buy three items, save five bucks, buy three items, get free shipping, buy $50 worth of merchandise and get a $10 off. You can do all of these type of things without any fees extra to eBay. It's just something that's built into the marketing tab of the hub. It's all there just as well as promoted but this way you don't have to pay a dime extra it only does the one single listing so you rolls through and doing markdown sales allows you to send out flyers advertising the sale as well it's really a good ploy it can increase your sales pretty quickly you can also do multiples of all of these you can do promoted listings and your own promotions as well you can do a markdown where you're only taking 10 15 20 dollars off or 10 15 20 percent off of each item or specific items or items in a certain category there's hundreds of different options you can do with markdowns and promotions those are your own promotions no extra fees again to ebay you can do them in so many different ways it's not even funny there's every option that's imaginable in there one of them is going to work for you i can almost guarantee it we use them when our sales are having issues or something's going on it always bumps our sales up you got to do them targetedly you got to do them intelligently you got to pay attention to it it goes back into checking prices and things like that so you know what type of markdown you should do in the first place sometimes if you've had items up for a while the price could have changed more could have hit the market there there may just not be as many buyers anymore as there were a year or whenever you listed the item ago so take that into consideration and now for number one I actually have a tie for number one so I've got two answers for number one that both work just as well cross listing is one thing you can do you don't need any more merchandise you don't have to source more items you're just simply taking the listings you already have on eBay or on Amazon or wherever you're listing them at and putting them on other sites as well there's many programs that you can do that will do that for you that will control your inventory as well which is the biggest issue you have when you do 
do a cross listing of the same items on multiple sites. But that broadens your reach. It opens you up to more markets. You're not getting any more merchandise. It's the same stuff. It's an easy way to increase your sales without a doubt. It does work. We've used it. We've had great success doing that for ourselves. And the second option tied for number one is sending offers to watchers. I know some people, if you don't have a lot of listings up, you may only be able to send out a few at a time. But the minute you send those off, it opens you up to more abilities to send more watcher notices out. One of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of people make when they send offers to watchers is they don't write something in there. You've got a chance to send a note to converse with people that are watching your items. It's the only way on eBay that you can converse with somebody watching your items and get a response back. It's the only way. There's no other options. You can't look and see who's watching your items. And what we'll do with these notes is I'll say, hey, if you're not happy, come back. We'll be happy to negotiate with you over a price if you're seriously interested in buying it. A lot of times when you send these out, you may not get a response, but if you're putting notes in there and saying, hey, I'll work with you, chances are at least you're going to get a contact back if someone's serious with it. Maybe they'll say, hey, I'll pay this much for it. You're going to get some action from it. So you should get some action from those offers to the watchers because of that. Put some notes in there. Converse with them. Start the conversation. This is how you get more sales. You interact with people. So if you're not sending offers to watchers, you're really missing out. Same thing goes for cross-listing or any of the items on this list. Hopefully that gave you some thoughts on these. These all will work to increase your sales. There are so many options and so many things that you can do to increase your sales. You just have to hit it hard. There's so many tools out there that you could utilize. If you're not utilizing all of these options, you're really missing out and your sales could be hurting right now because of that. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.